translation. Okay, so this this is really cool. You you have like these are like premium features. Oh, look at that. So it actually separates out the speakers. This is amazing. We could just record directly from the mic. Let's try it. Nomaditsu. Today I wanted to show you a new tool that I just discovered. This is related to my video about Notebook LM, where it generates an instant podcast for you. One feature that I requested and I hope that they bring is transcription for the podcasts that are generated. I really wanted to see the transcripts because there are some great ideas that come out of the instant podcast. But until they release that feature, I was looking for a way to do it myself with a free open source way. And I found this app called Vibe. And you could download this for free. And this is my first time trying it. When you install it and open it for the first time, it downloads an audio to text AI model from OpenAI. Now we're going to try a transcript from a instant podcast that I generated with Notebook LM. So to get the audio file from your Notebook LM, you go to this notebook guide, you load the conversation, and then you click the three dots button and hit download. So now we're going to be able to hopefully get a transcript uh, from that file. So here's the file. It loads up and let's do a preview. Hey everyone, ready to have your minds blown? Today we're diving into the world of AI. Speci so that's the podcast file, as you can see. Now let's transcribe. So it looks like it's loading up and we have a transcript window. We have a transcript progress. And now I don't have the like beefiest computer, but I have a M1 Mac book here. Okay, there we go. So it's, it's really cool here to see that it's doing it live. It's not waiting till it's completed before it shows you. It's, it's showing you as it's doing it. That's pretty cool. And yeah, so I was saying I, I have a MacBook Air M1 from 2020, and I'm really shocked that all the AI stuff it could still do. As long as you have the M1 chip, like you could do a lot of AI stuff on uh, on your laptop. So here we go. We're at 50, almost 50%. I'll probably fast forward to the end. A few moments later. Okay, so it finished and that didn't take too much time took like a maybe two minutes, two to three minutes. And yeah, so now I have the transcript of the podcast. So yeah, this is really cool. I've been looking for a free transcription app. You know, uh, there are uh, ones you have to subscribe for. There's Otter AI and there's Descript both of which are really great at what they do, but you do have to pay for advanced features and you also don't have the privacy. So I'm really shocked that I didn't find out about this app sooner. And yeah, hopefully you get some uh, value out of it. Okay, so I wanted to explore a few more options here and I realized that it has speaker recognition. So let's try that out. Okay, we have to download a new model. Okay, so speaker recognition, let's see how many speakers. Okay, so let's be specific here. So two, and let's leave this default. Translation, okay, so this, this is really cool. You, you have, like, these are like premium features. Prompt, make transcripts better by writing expected words. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's try. Okay, so I noticed that in my first round of the transcript, it was spelling notebook LN instead of LM. So I'm going to see if it changes it here. And now I'm going to try to retranscribe that. Oh, look at that. So it actually separates out the speakers. This is amazing. 
So for context, I was using Descript, but it had like limitations on it. I didn't like that it was not private. You'd have to upload it to the cloud. This is all done locally on your computer. So I, I am definitely gonna be using this. Okay, so it's done and look at this. It spelled it right. So definitely take advantage of that feature in here. If you know there are like some tricky words or words that it always gets wrong, uh, you could just add it in there. So yeah, overall, this is looking really amazing. I'm, I'm surprised I haven't heard of this before. Um, let's see some other features. So we could just record directly from the mic. Let's try it. Okay, so I have to do some uh, settings here. Okay, so I'm gonna try that again. All right, so I'm gonna try to record directly from the mic. Let's start. All right, so I have to give permissions for this. Oh, did it do it? Let's start. All right, so I... Okay, let's try it. Okay, so very cool, very, very cool feature here, or a very cool app here. This is free open source transcription. Amazing. And it's using the same technology, the same AI model from OpenAI, the Whisper model. So amazing. Okay, another feature, another feature I saw here is you could have different formats. So HTML, PDF, SRT. Oh, very cool. So I could transcribe if I wanted to my YouTube video and do the SRT files here. But I do use CapCut Pro right now. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to know that this is an option. VTT, I'm not sure what that one is. And for code, all right. So there you have it. Uh, one more thing we need to try is video. So let's try video. I don't know how to start this over. Oh, here we go. So you gotta hit change file and I'll be back with a video. Okay, so I just loaded a video file in here and let's see if it could transcribe the video, not just audio files. This is amazing. Yeah, this is the script from my latest video and I recognize the words and everything. So this is perfect. There you have it. We have an amazing app for free. We get the same quality of text transcription from OpenAI, but it's on our own computer, private, unlimited, it does video and audio files. It does recording directly from your mic. What more could you want? So there you have it. Amazing free app. You could cancel your Descript uh, subscription. Just kidding. Uh, sponsor me. But yeah, uh, if you want a free transcription app, this is it. Hey guys, so I just realized I forgot to tell you where to download this. And the best place to download it is at thewhiteeagle.github.io slash vibe. I'll put that on the screen. And you just go over here and click on the thing that makes most sense to you. So I'm on Mac, I'm gonna click Mac. And because I have a M-series chip, I have an M1, I'm gonna click on Apple chip. So once that's downloaded, just right click on the file and then hit open. It won't open if you just double click on it. And then you have to hit open. And once this is open, you just drag and drop into applications folder and you just, and you just click on that. You might have to right click on that if it's giving you problems, just right click on it and open. And that's it. If you found that helpful, uh, do me a favor, hit the like hit the subscribe, share with a friend, and leave a comment below. 
If you have any other suggestions for amazing open source AI apps, let me know. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Nomaditsu.